All right, guys, we're back again with another adventure today. Today is a cool one. We're going to be talking about how to get Plex across VLANs. So let's just put it in layman's terms. So if you have multiple VLANs and like one for kids and one for guests, but you want your Plex server to be access to them, you know, for your kids, like mine is for my daughter. I want her to be uh, on her own network where there's restrictions and all this stuff for her, but when she plays Plex, I want it to be local still. So I'm gonna show you how to get local play across VLANs. Let's get into it. <laughs> So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, uh, I'm gonna show you on Unify Network, but this will pertain. So basically what you first need to do is make uh, a firewall rule. I'm gonna make this one on Unify. So for Unify, I'm gonna have it called Plex, and it's gonna be the port group. So you're just gonna make a port group rule. I'm making this ahead of time just so it's easy. You don't have to do this here if you don't want to, or you can just follow along if you have a Unify router. But you're gonna need this. This is what Plex uses to communicate um, outside of the network and internal in the network. This is the port that Plex uses. So just wanted to get you out there. Doesn't matter, I have multiple Plex servers. They're both, they're all gonna use this port right there. So it doesn't matter. So I just use it one time and it's gonna work on all the different servers that I have. So the next thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna go to our security and we're gonna go to firewall rules and my daughter's network, if I go to networks, this is my daughter's uh, right here. It's a six network. So it's 1.6. Her tablet is um, on that network and that's what she can use to watch, you know, Plex and stuff like that. YouTube, uh, kids only restricted, all these, no VPNs, no pornographic, no bad stuff for her network that she can access and everything like that. So there's so many restrictions. So, but I want her to be able to watch Plex and I don't wanna waste my data when I can be local played. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to profiles, uh, whatever group you do, create a firewall rule. Uh, we're gonna go back to, oh, sorry, security, firewall rules. We're gonna go to all. And I have a rule that I created for, where is it? Plex to Mackenzie. My daughter's name is Mackenzie, so that's what her network's gonna be. It's gonna be Plex to Mackenzie. So I'm basically saying, hey, I'm gonna allow you to the, uh, to play Plex local. So what you're gonna do is, this is LANIN, we're gonna hit accept. On the network side, we're going to Mackenzie's network. This is her network. And we're hitting it, remember, it's accept. Just make sure you put that in LANIN. We're hitting the network and it's gonna be Mackenzie's. Now, under port destination, we're gonna have a port, because it's gonna be that port group. And we're just gonna be port, and just select that one that we created, that Plex one with that uh, 32, 400 or whatever, that's the one, whatever that one is. We can go back again and look again. It is 32, 400, yep, 32, 400, so I was right. And then all you gotta do is firewall rules, all, where is it? Plex McKenzie, I just make sure it's in the accept group so it won't be terminated or you know blocked or anything like that. So we're good to go. Now, the next step is we need to do it on Plex. If you just do that, it's not gonna work. So what you gotta do on Plex, and this pertains to all the servers, is log into your server, go to your settings, and then we're gonna scroll down to network, boom. Now, the previous how to play Plex without internet, kind of the same thing, but up here, we need to do LAN networks. So basically, if you have, if it's blank there, it automatically goes to the default. As soon as you put one in there, you gotta add the default one in too, otherwise it'll just go to the, you'll only be able to play local on the ones that are added in here. Remember, if there's nothing in here, it's just default and you're fine, you don't have to change anything. But if you add a network in here, you better add your default, otherwise only that one network you added in, the default won't be able to play it anymore. Only that one network will be able to play local. So, like I said, my daughter's network is 192.6.0, 
and I just put zero as in everything on that network. So everything on the my daughter's network. So she gets a computer, a laptop, her phone. It won't be for a while, she's only seven, so it's gonna be for a while, but uh, if she gets that, every device will be able to play Plex Local. I won't have to do this rule for every individual or put another IP address in. So that's what I did. Another one, if we go down here, I put 192.168.1.0 because that's my default network. I want that on here, slash 255.255. Remember, after each IP you add, you wanna put your subnet mask. And then you wanna separate the different IPs with commas. And the sub so you'd be like 192.168, I mean, .6.0 slash 255.255.255.0 comma, then your next IP. And then I have one more on here, and this is just my um, uptime Kuma because it monitors my my servers if they're down or anything. So I put that on there too, just to have it. And now we will have local playing, and I'll show you on my phone. Let me get, gosh darn it, Miles. Where is my phone? Oh, it's charging. That's right where it should be. Let me get it. All right, I got my phone and we're gonna go to back up here and we're gonna go to here, go to dashboard. And now I'm gonna open up my Plex. I'm on my network. <coughs> well, actually I don't wanna show mine because then mine, I'm just gonna show you my daughter's because then I have to block another uh, address. But my daughter's I won't have to because it's on a VLAN. So I got her tablet here. We're gonna play. I'm gonna bring this down so I don't get copyrighted. Alice in Wonderland, we have that Blu-ray DVD. We love it, so it's one of my favorites. My wife hates it, but I love it. So here we go. Play. And now, as you can see, Galaxy Tab. Look at local address, 192.168.6.217. Perfect, you know what? I. It's just, it's freaking awesome. I just love this dang thing. Well, you know what else, too? Let's try this. Actually, I will do it. Let's just see. Maybe it won't show up. Maybe I won't be a butt. Let's see. Um, I don't forget. Let's go. Is it gonna show it? Turn this down. Oh good, it doesn't show. Yep, so perfect. My, I'm playing it too, right there. As you can see, we're both playing it, both local. There's mine, 87, that's, you know, so I can remember, that's my phone, 217, that's my daughter's Galaxy Tab, so that's hers. So yeah, look, two different VLANs, both local, running baby like nothing. Yep, uh, barely doing anything, perfect, yeah. Look at that, it works, it's so freaking cool. And I can stop these. No, you ain't playing. No, you ain't playing. And that one might take a minute to go down, but that one's up right here to hit okay, and bye-bye. And there. Let's see, and we refresh. Let's see if we refresh. Oh no, that's fine. But yeah, so it just freaking works. It just works, 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 works. It's so freaking cool. I wanted to put that out there so you guys can get local play across your VLANs. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's just that Plex trick. That Plex trick will get you. So just be prepared with that. Make sure you add your IP addresses on Plex. And guess what? You're gonna have local play. And those IP addresses, I mean, all the networks that you want to be able to access. So we did create that one Mackenzie to Plex. So you would wanna do, if you have uh, really crazy restrictions, then you'd wanna add that in for different VLANs and stuff like that to allow IoT to Plex or whatever, so on and so on. So if you did have like a streaming device on your IoT network and you wanted to have Plex local play, you could do the same thing. So you could, access, that's my server. I'm not giving access to my server. All I'm getting access to is Plex itself with that port group, because my server doesn't use that, only Plex uses that port group, so my server isn't gonna be able to be affected, really. 
unless there's just so many streams on my um, on that network that then my server will be affected because it will have to handle that data. But other than that, no. But hey, if you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos. And guess what? Catch you in the next one. Peace out. Rock on.